Hey guys, Spartan117GW here, and I have the Classic Army DT4. Now, I've been super stoked about this gun because I saw the prototype about a year ago, and um, finally the gun's out, and I got my hands on it, and I basically completely customized it and whatnot. But what's really cool, what makes this gun special, is that it's a double barrel M4. And when it comes to airsoft, that's like the first of its kind. It has a real gun version that's kind of modeled after. They made a couple minute changes, but more or less, it's based off that same double barrel M4. And what's interesting is that it's basically like, essentially just like a single gun, like below in the lower receiver, in terms of like mechanics and stuff for the most part. But once you get up here is where you have like the dual pistons and everything like that. And the whole design is completely different. It's actually pretty impressive. You have two hop up units. Uh, when you both charge the candle back, it locks in place. So you can actually have them independently hopped, although I recommend having them both hopped as basically identical as possible. Um, very satisfying when you close the bolt catch. Uh, you have an M-lock rail system, and uh, what's really cool is you can put your BCM rail covers on here, you can put grips and whatever accessories you want. And they've got like a light on here too. Um, uh, it's it's kind of heavy, and it's a little beefy, but not too beefy. I mean, this is essentially like, almost like, somewhere in between the rifleman and the support role and depending on the situation you can kind of flex one or the other whether you're clearing buildings because this really isn't that long uh, but if you really have to lay down the fire you can because you're you're putting twice the amount of uh, fire down range I've seen some variety online, but mine was shooting around 380, 390. Uh, one of the barrels, I think there was like 510 FDS fluctuation between each barrel, but other than that, really close. Um, initially, when I first got it, uh, mine, the nubs basically were like almost non-existent, so I ended up fixing that. I let Classic Army know, so every model that's out there should have gotten the fix. So if you, for some reason, if you've seen like some other videos, like Jet's video or a couple other people's videos, where there wasn't any hop, that's why. But obviously, once you fix this thing, it shoots pretty damn far. I'm actually very impressed. I used a, a game pod. You know, there's no wind or anything in game pod. And I was basically shooting wall to wall, uh, depending on which wall you're on. But very, very impressive. And this is basically what I'd like to call the TIE Fighter gun. I actually put two Ace Tech tracers on it in that video. I've been using it here at 878 Airsoft for the Desert Fox event uh, game, and definitely really comes in handy for laying down the hate. So here we go on to the accuracy and grouping test. This was done at about 30, 40 feet uh, on a USGI target just to kind of get an idea what the groupings would be like. And as you can see, switched to full auto, the destruction is absolutely devastating. It really, I mean, you're getting twice the amount of kinetic energy and damage on impact per shot. So this is definitely something that's going to uh, keep people's heads down. And uh, it was definitely getting great hits on man-sized targets at distance. Now overall, I think this gun is a very unique gun. It's definitely the kind of gun that you're gonna get if you wanna like draw a lot of looks on the field because everyone's just gonna look at it and be like, what the heck is that? Um, and so far, like the yeah, trigger's very, very snappy. I was actually very surprised. I have an 11-1 battery here in here, the Titan Power 11-1, uh, 50, 200 milliamp, which with this stock, with this gun, perfect combination. A lot of juice, really solid rate of fire, um, and you're just gonna be able to truck with this thing all day long. Um, 
But yes, the range is actually really good. The performance is really good. I think when it comes to Classic Army's lines of guns, this is definitely one of the better ones out there. So, um, and as you can see, it's fully decked out. I got sights on here, a flip up sight and everything. is very Call of Duty as I could possibly make it. Um, but yeah, if you're curious about this gun, very, very cool, unique gun. If you're looking for something to kind of feel a niche or a, a, a scratch that you have in your airsoft arsenal, this thing might just be up your alley. So go ahead and check it out, the Classic Army DT4, also known as the TIE Fighter Gun. Thank you guys for watching. This is Barton 117GW. I'll see you guys next time. Did you give me a snow? Oh, you okay? Woo! Oh, look at the knuckle! Woo! You okay? Yeah, I was like, holy fuck! Alright, I'll go back. Alright, yeah. <laughs>